Well, good morning. Today is Monday, December 27th. I had to think for a minute because on my WW app, uh, it told me that it was Tuesday, the 27th. And I thought, no, am I looking at that right? I had to uninstall the app and reinstall it. It was some kind of glitch. But today is Monday, December 27th, and it's time for our weekly we weekly meeting highlights. And uh, this week, it's uh, Reflect on Your Journey. <sighs> Boy, we need to reflect on this, or my journey, definitely. But we always start off with how I did this previous week, Christmas week. Let's see how I did. Pathetic. I had way too many Christmas treats. Way, obviously, with a 2.2 gain which brought me to 239, oh, inching towards that 240. I am, I refuse, I absolutely refuse to get into that next set of digits because I know what happens after that. I get into the 50s and the 60s and the 70s, and then before you know it, I'm back up to the 304.2. Oh, that was just, that was just uh, devastating for me. So I gained 2.2. I have still have a total loss of 65.2 which does sound impressive. And I am impressed that I've kept off 65.2 pounds, but I'm reflecting on my journey, as they tell me to do. Uh, I'll be honest, this is the only thing I've read is reflect on your journey. I haven't read any of the articles, so we're gonna do that together, because I'm just, I was just so upset with myself, but not upset enough not to stop eating, because I had Christmas cookies, I had cake, I had pie, I had treats, I had candy, I had, you name it, I had it. And, Obviously, with a 2.2 gain, it doesn't take a genius to figure out I ate way more than I should have. And hardly a vegetable in there. Uh, you know, hardly a vegetable in there. And I love vegetables. And, you know, I really didn't have that much fruit because I was filling up on the cookies and the cakes and the candies and the pies and all of that stuff. So, but, what any. So, reflecting on my journey, um, since last year on this date, because I did weigh myself last year on this date, I uh, weighed 218 on that date. Today I weighed 239. That means that since last year, I gained 21 pounds in a year, which still sounds bad, but it sounds better than since September 9th, when I weighed 209, I have uh, gained 30 pounds, 30 pounds in three months, 10 pounds a month. My goal is to try to lose 10 pounds, a, to lose 10 pounds a month, but no, no, no. I have to go the other way. I gained 10 pounds per month. Um, it was, it was devastating to me. It was absolutely devastating to see that number on the scale. And then when the number was kind of bouncing around and I'm standing really still thinking, oh, don't go into the 40s, don't go into the 40s, don't go into the 40s. And then when it hit 239, I thought, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And so then I got off the scale and I thought, you know what? It bounced around too much. You need to get a true reading. You need to get back on that scale. And I went, no, no, we're going to take that. Psychologically, I need that. We need that. And I thought, no, you don't. You need to see it. You need to see if it's actually true. So very begrudgingly, I got back on the scale and um, it was a solid 239. It didn't bounce around or anything. It just went right to that number. And then I thought, third time's the charm. I'm going to try it a third time. Because I've done that before when I've tried to lose weight. <laughs> so, uh, And it, it came up to 39. So that is my true true weight this week. Uh, weighed at the exact same time. So I can't even say it was a different time. It was the exact same time. So 2.2 gain, 65.2 loss. Um, I have decided that I am not waiting until next week. You know, I, I was very easy just to say I'm going to wait till New Year's Day and start all over again. It'll be a whole new year. Now, I want to get a jump start on the new year. So I am definitely going to start today. Um, different things that I've reflected on is um, I didn't show my food this past month because uh, I knew I was not going to be following my plan. And so I thought, why do I want to share my wickedness? <laughs> My wicked, wicked behavior. I'll get rid of that. My wicked, wicked behavior with you guys. But uh, I'm going to show you this week the good, the bad. No, there's not going to be no bad. There's not going to be any ugly. There's only going to be good this week because I'm definitely staying on track. We don't go out for New Year's Eve. If we do do anything, we go to Birdie's house to play cards. That's about it. Um, I am actually, truly looking forward to eat, getting back to eating healthy. I really am. I just... I just needed that month just to remind me of how bad I felt and how crappy everything was. And it was not my not my life, just the way I felt. Because I had a really good Christmas. I got really nice gifts. 
I had the love of my family and friends. I was able to go out with family and friends. A little bit too much going out, <laughs> obviously, with my weight. Um, I didn't even track to see. I don't even know. I'll put right here how much I gained for the month of December. Because I'm going to wait until December 31st to weigh to see how much I officially gained for the holidays. Because I weighed myself the day before Thanksgiving with the plan of weighing myself the day at, the day before, on New Year's Eve, obviously. The day before New Year's, but on, to weigh myself on New Year's Eve. So on Friday, on my daily vlog, um, I will share with you how much I gained during the holidays. My first year ever since I joined Weight Watcher that I had to gain during the holidays. Um, the only comfort I take in that fact, and it's not really, it's like, you know, like jumping on other people's pain, I guess. I don't know. But uh, everyone I watch is having a hard time this Christmas season. I think because we couldn't celebrate last year, I think we're all a little bit overdoing it this year. So uh, I, um, once again, I'm back on track. Six minutes in. Okay, let's get on to the meeting. That's, not, that's why you came here, not to hear me babble on. Uh, it tells you to, to reflect on your journey. Before you go back into making your New Year's resolutions mode, pause and look back on 2021. Learning from what you did and didn't do well can help you to better navigate your journey in the future. Plus, recognizing progress you've made can boost confidence that you can go into 2022 on a high note. Um, I think that the fact that I did get down to 209, I was so close to my 100-pound loss. I was so close to getting into Wonderland. That is a high for me. It really was a high. Uh, I really was doing really well. I was really on a mission to get to my goals. And um, and looking back, I know when I set a goal that I was going to reach my goal by December 31st, I can't set goals. I can't set a personal set amount goal. I can set a goal like I'm going to stay on track. I'm going to really be healthy, make healthy choices. I can set those kind of goals. But as soon as I set a specific goal, like I want to lose exactly a pound a week or I want to lose just a half a pound a week, as soon as I set myself up for those goals, psychologically, I just do myself. I don't know why. I don't know what's in me that does this. But uh, reflecting on my journey for the past year, I have learned that uh, I have to give myself a little bit of grace. Don't set any personal number goals or set by dates. Just strive to make the goal of eating healthy, making proper choices, enjoying my life, enjoying my friends and my family, having that occasional Starbucks drink, which I absolutely love, which is only six points. Um, also, just knowing that I can and will do better and, and that I'm human and that if I make a mistake, I make a mistake and just move on from it and don't beat myself up from it. Uh, I don't take joy from the fact that other people are struggling just as much as me, but I take solace in the fact that other people are struggling just as much as me because then I don't feel like such a failure because I know that I'm human and I'm making mistakes just like everybody else. And it's been a hard year for everybody. And so um, I do take comfort in that, but I don't take comfort in the fact that they had gains too. I, I really don't. I, I wish that I was the only one that had a gain this week, this year. I wish I was the only one that struggled. But unfortunately, that's just not what happened. Um, so um, go on to the next page here because it says read more. And I think I'm losing the track. There we go. My computer's been acting up a little bit. It says look on the past month or the past three or six months to see what lessons you can learn as you head into the new year. Then come up with a plan to steer your weight loss and wellness journey forward. First thing they tell you to do is explore your successes big and small. My big success for the past year, I feel, has been that I've been eating more vegetables. As much as I love, and we're not including this last month where I went bad. <laughs> I'm just saying as an overall for the whole year. Um, I've been eating more vegetables. I love vegetables. I have been incorporating them into my diet a little bit more. And I have found that the weeks that I've eaten more vegetables than fruits and grains, um, that I've lost better. So that's my plan. And uh, the big law, the big thing that I think that I've pulled away from this year is that I can reach my 100 pound goal. I can get there. I can get into Wonderland. I came very close. I know what deterred me from getting there. I Psychologically, I just didn't think I deserved it um, for some, whatever reasons. Um, but I've decided I, I, I deserve it. I deserve it more than, more than I think. And so I, I'm going to definitely get it. Um, what changes did you make and how did you make them? Like I just said, i incorporated more vegetables into my diet. I tried to eat vegetables at every meal. Uh, I am going to try to do that a little bit more this coming year. Um, 
I'm going to try to try out new recipes. I'm hoping to, my plan is not, once again, I should make, you know, like they say, God, you make plans and God laughs. <laughs> but my plan is I want to do uh, cook with me once a week of something I've never had. Some, some new recipe that I'm going to look up that I've never had and, uh, and try to do that. So that's one of my goals for the year. Um, how did it impact your journey? Like I said, the fact that I ate more vegetables helped me lose weight quicker. And what helped bring balance? I think that what helped me bring balance when I was on a good losing streak was how good I felt about my accomplishments, how easy it was to turn away from cookies and cakes and donuts and things like that. Uh, way easier than it has been for the month of December, trust me. But, uh, but I, I think I have brought some balance back into my life. And which shifts happened quickly and which took longer? Which took longer for me is to realize that that sugar is just going to lead to more sugar. This is going to lead to more sugar, which is going to lead to more sugar. It just starts a vicious circle. I found that when I was eating the cookies and the candies and the cakes and the pies and the donuts and all of that stuff this month, that it never really satisfied my hunger. And it just made me crave more. And the more sugar I ate, the more sugar I craved. And I really think that if during that whole month of December, if I would have tried to eat um, like a snack of a vegetable tray or has some fruit, eat a little bit more fruit, I wish I could have got my natural sugar from, that uh, it wouldn't have got me on that vicious cycle because um, it's it's just, it's not like it's not like a true addiction because I know that some people have told me that, you know, like a true addiction is like for drugs or um, alcohol, things like that. I understand that. But I think in the same sense that an alcohol an alcoholic gets triggered by having that first drink. I think somebody that eats too much sugar gets triggered by that first little bit of sugar that they put into their body, that their body really wants it. Uh, I know that, because uh, I have alcohol alcoholism in my family, I know that they try, they really do try, and they really can go a long streak without ha having any alcohol. But for some reason, they think that they can have just that one little drink and it's not going to trigger something inside of them psychologically, and it always does. And that's the same for me. I have a little bit of sugar and it triggers something in my brain and I just think I have to continually eat more sugar. Now, is that a true addiction? I don't know. I, I just think that there. I, they say that people can be addicted to food, but unfortunately you need food to survive. If you're addicted to alcohol, you just don't drink alcohol, but you, you have to eat food. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to eat cake and I have to eat candy and I have to eat cookies. So I have to correlate the, the difference between that. The second thing they tell you to do is think about your challenge. Challenges. What trials did you face? We face the, all of us face the same thing. The silly, old, not silly. It's not silly. It's, it's a serious thing. This pandemic, it's so serious. And just the fact that it's going on longer. How many of us, when they told us in March of 2020, that this was going to continue on until January, February, March of 2022? I will tell you that I was first in line saying, <laughs> that's ridiculous. This is not going to last that long. Maybe a month or two, maybe six, but it'll be done by then. Uh, no, we're coming into 2022 in just four more days, five more days. And so um, they were right in their predictions. And so I think that a lot of times we have to really pay attention to different things. And um, I think that um, another thing that um, the trial that I faced was just, I, you know I'm a very family-oriented person. The fact that I couldn't have my family come over every week for family dinner, that was devastating to me. I just, I mean, I talked to them on the phone. We did our weekly Zoom calls. We did all of that. But uh, I so thoroughly enjoyed getting together the holidays this year. I really did. It was just such a reminder of, of how much things in life we take for granted. And I think just losing weight, I think I took that for granted. I just took for granted that every week I'm going to get on the scale and I'm going to do well because I did well the previous week. That didn't happen so much. How did your hurdles impact your journey? Like I just said, um, it, it bothered me that I couldn't be together with family, and so I think I turned to food. Well, I know I turned to food. I don't know why I think I turned to food. I know I turned to food. And where did you? Where did? When did you struggle? Wait a minute. Where did you struggle when it came to balance? Hmm. That one I'm kind of confused on. Where did you struggle when it came to balance? Oh. To, to the distinguishing between the love of family that I'm missing and the love of a donut that I'm eating to try to replace the love of family that I was missing. Um, 
my love of my family is going to be with me whether they're here physically with me or not. So many of us have family and friends that live far away. I'm very fortunate that my family lives very close. We all live within an hour drive. Uh, my whole extended family and everything, we live within an hour. Other than my cousin Lynn and my uh, cousin Paul. Paul lives about uh, 12, 13 hours west of me, and Lynn lives about three or four hours east of me. And then I have my family in Boston. But uh, for the most part, my immediate family, my, my cousins, my, you know, things like that. I, have, I won't have relatives in Florida, too. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. I just, but uh, I just realized that. And what goals have you not achieved yet? Well, we all know you're all getting sick of hearing it. Okay, I'll let you say it along with me. Losing 100 pounds and getting into Wonderland. I know, it's like monotony now. It's like one of those little wind-up dolls, like a chatty Cathy, you know, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> That's what I feel like sometimes, is I feel like on planes, trains, and automobiles when Steve Martin's telling John Candy, you must have your own string where you just pull it. Hi, hi, hi. That's how I feel about saying that. But uh, um, I am not setting a date. I am not setting a, a specific time. I'm not setting any kind of a goal like that. But uh, in 2022... I'm going to be like the doctors predicting. And I didn't believe them, but I'm going to believe myself. I will reach my goals this year. If you're going to keep working on the goal, what can you do differently? Like I said, I need to start showing my food. I need to track a little bit better. I have to get back to walking. My big plan today was to get back and walk. And we got like, I don't know, it looks like two or three inches of snow along with some ice right now because it's like a sleety rain right now. Not to say that I can't walk around in the house. I can usually went down the basement, but uh, my son Jimmy's got all of his stuff down the basement because he's building a house, and so he's just living in a small trailer. So I'm storing a lot of his stuff down in the basement, and so I don't have any room to walk down there. So I'm just going to have to walk around upstairs. So the third thing they tell you to do is look ahead. How will you feel when you reach the goal? Oh my gosh, I'm going to feel like I'm on the top of Mount Everest. I just feel... Like, this is a goal I've been striving for since the 80s. So 40 years I've been striving to get into Wonderland, back into Wonderland. I was in Wonderland for the longest time. But uh, I haven't been in Wonderland since probably the late 70s, probably 78, 79. No, 77. Because I got when I got pregnant with my son Danny, I gained 75 pounds, and I really never really lost it. <laughs> so, um, but I, I think I think I think I'll do it. No. I know I'll do it. And what obstacles do you need to overcome? I need to get out of my own head. I need to get out of my own way. I have to realize that I'm human. I'm going to make mistakes. Uh, as much as I say I don't want to eat sugar, I know that sugar is going to come back into my life. I just know it. Um, I hope I will be able to control it uh, way better than I did for December. I really have no excuses that I can't. Valentine's Day is one day. Jim does not give me candy for Valentine's Day. Uh, we just exchange cards. We just, we never did. I mean, I got engaged on Valentine's Day. He gave me an engagement ring. But other than that, you know, like when we were dating, he might have got me candy and some stuffed animals. But for the most part, we don't really celebrate that. We don't celebrate Sweetest Day. Uh, Easter, we don't really exchange gifts for Easter. You know, we don't do candy or anything like that. So I have no excuses, is my point. Uh, what goal do you want to reach in the next month or the next three to six? In the next month, see, now this is telling me to set goals. And, you know, I told, just got done telling you I don't want to set goals. But the goal I want to reach in the next month is to feel proud of the accomplishments that I'm going to achieve this month, no matter how much weight I lose. Because I am going to lose weight for the month of January. I have no doubt I'm going to lose weight for January. But my goal for January is just to be proud of the fact that I never give up. I stick to it. I'm never going to quit. And I will reach my goals. So that's the goal. In the next three to six months, in six months, I would like to... Um, I would just like to think that I'm doing as well as I'm doing right now. Not right now. That I'll be doing as well as I plan on doing. I'll put it that way because I'm not doing really well right now. I just want to in six months say, you know what? I, I'm glad you had that conversation with yourself six months ago because you really turned things around. Now, maybe you didn't reach your goal. Maybe you did reach your goals. But you know what? You're a lot closer than you were six months ago. That's my goal. And the fourth thing to do is to move forward. What can you do this week that's truly doable, doable to get you closer to your goal? Show my food on my daily vlog, track my food on my app and on my paper, because I do both, and uh, try to get some sort of exercise in each day. And what lessons from the past can help you nail it? Looking at my journal, seeing how much I've gained, 
every week steadily up 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 instead of going down 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 so um i i need to look at the lessons from the past and realize that sugar is not my friend it never has been never will be uh it's not going to replace any of the feelings um or losses that i think that i have in my life as far as the closeness of being together with my family my family's close even whether we're physically close or not and how will you respond to any challenges <clears throat> i definitely I'm going to keep track of the fact that I came so close to getting back into the 40s. I just, I, I can't, I can't let that thought get out of my mind. To dive a little deeper, they say, see that new year up ahead? Before you zoom off toward your weight loss and wellness goals, consider taking a look back. Learning from what you did do well and what you didn't do well in the past and how you use balance to press on can help you better navigate your journey into the future. And of course, don't forget to celebrate all that you've already done. Even if you didn't exactly achieve every goal on your list, recognizing any progress you've made can boost your confidence so you can go into the new year on a high note. Okay, I'm telling you right now, I think that what I can celebrate is the fact that December 31st, 2016, I walked into Weight Watchers and I weighed 304.2. And I have never in my whole five years coming up this week on Friday, have I ever thought seriously. Now, I've had little dabbles of thoughts, but seriously considered I've never considered, I've always thought, but I've never considered quitting. I will never quit. I will reach my goals. I don't care how long it takes. I will reach my goals. And that's definitely what I'm going to do. I'm definitely going to reach my goals. And I'm going to reflect back on the fact that I started off the year really well. I did really well up until September. And then uh, for whatever reason in September, I got scared of my journey. I never wanted to quit, but something happened that got me scared. So um, continuing on. The recipe is for a poached egg with hollandaise and bacon. Ugh. It's six points. Oh my gosh, on my plan. Um, anyway, I, I will not be trying this. I do not like poached eggs, first of all. Um, reduced calorie mayonnaise. Let me see. This is probably just a Zoom call. Nope, I got to take this. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. It was my daughter. Uh, anyway, um, a quarter cup of reduced calorie mayonnaise. A quarter cup, which I'll take mayonnaise. I'm, I know Jones Point of Plate hates it, but I love Miracle Whip instead. Uh, three, a quarter cup of fat-free yogurt. I don't like yogurt. A Dijon mustard, lemon zest, lemon juice, butter, vinegar, and eggs. Uncooked Canadian bacon, an English muffin, some tomatoes, and chives. See, I like the muffin, the eggs, and the Canadian bacon, <laughs> none of the other stuff. So uh, I'll leave um, the recipe at the end of the video if you want to try it out yourself to see if you like it. So anyway, I know I was a little long-winded today, so I apologize for that. But um, I ended up the week with a 239, a 2.2 .2 gain for a total loss of 65.2. Um, I do have faith in myself. I do believe in myself. I know I'm going to do better. I know I will do better, and I know I can do better. So, um, how'd you guys do over the holidays? Am I the only one that did so miserably during the holidays? I, I hope I am. I really hope I am because I would hate to have this feeling thrown on anybody else because it's, uh, it's not one that you want to end the year with, but it's the one I'm ending my year with. So next year I'm going to have a better year ending. So we'll see. But uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I do a daily vlog. Um, I will show you my food every day starting today. I also um, do once a week, although I don't go shopping once a week anymore because I pretty much stocked up my f uh, pantry and freezer. But when I do go shopping, I show you my grocery hauls. Um, I'm going to do a recipe of the week once a week starting in January. And then um, a tag video with my son Jimmy uh, every Tuesday. And my, my, meeting, my meeting highlights every Monday. So, um, but... Stick with me. We'll see how this year is going to progress. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if things somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe. And please, please, please believe in yourself because I believe in you. I know you can do it. I know you will do it. And I know you're going to inspire me because you give me so much support and encouragement. And the reason I, I still consider myself a success is because of all the support and encouragement you give me. Uh, I, if I didn't have YouTube, I know that I would not have accomplished as much as I've accomplished in this last five years. So thank you so much.